Um, what I really do want to talk about, I got a new job. I literally just got the job offer yesterday. I promise to let you guys know which company I work for. This is where I work. Here's the building right now. This is the building of where it is that I actually work. Pretty nice, man. I like it. I really enjoy this. Congratulations on the new job. Congrats, bro. Never seen anything like this on YouTube. Congratulations, from Chris. The heart. Well done. You deserve, you deserve all it. the great things you got Congratulations, coming your way, Chris. Chris. Congrats to you, Chris. I'm so happy Love for you. Love this video and congrats to the new job. This is insane, man. Six months. I, I still, I still can't believe it. <laughs> so what I wanted to be able to share for you guys now is really what I've learned after working at my company for just a couple of months. And the things I wanna share are things that, that I kinda knew about, but it's also about things that I had no idea what I had to learn, even when it comes to languages, you know what I mean? Like when it comes to even all the videos I made in the past where it talks about how you need to know JavaScript, 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 but sometimes JavaScript is not even enough anymore. So I wanna go ahead and talk about that right now. Now, the very first thing that come to mind is that when I first joined my first company as a web developer, I was hired as a junior. I was taken into that company barely knowing HTML and CSS, no knowledge of JavaScript. I was terrified of my first programming language, right? And I was very new. And because of that, what was I entrusted with? The most basic of all tasks. I wasn't given as many tasks or even difficult projects compared to the other developers there. One of the first things that I kind of recognized when just thinking about before I even made this video was that the first thing that I've learned at this company, because I do work for a much larger company, and even more than that, I've worked for a very fast paced publishing company, I'm entrusted with a lot more projects than when I used to work in my first job. I was tasked with things that had a deadline. They had to be done by this day. Why? Because literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people were waiting for this project to get done. Does that make sense? Even more than that, because I am not hired as a junior developer here, but I was hired as someone who has more experience than a junior developer, because of that, I was entrusted with more difficult projects. So one thing I've learned, and I think something that can really help aspiring developers developers is this, is that I, what I remember when I was aspiring developer, or even when I meet with aspiring developers, one thing that they tend to always do is only stick with the simple projects. Because of this, what will happen is that your growth as a developer would really not grow as fast as it could. One of the main reasons that I grew so much at my first company, even especially this, is that I'm entrusted with projects I've never done before, projects I didn't even think I could even do in the first place. Because I work here, guess what? I'm tasked with very difficult things. Like to the point where even on Tuesday, I had to work until 10 p.m. Actually, I didn't have to work that late, but we had to work until we finished a project and I wanted to make it perfect. And even when I worked until 10 p.m., it still wasn't perfect. I'm being challenged like crazy, right? And that's why I'm getting better. I'm being given way more tasks. I'm being pushed to my limits, which is why I'm improving every single day when I'm working at my new company. Now, secondly, big thing that I've honestly learned at this company was the importance, to be honest, of teamwork. If you see one of my la latest videos, there's a person that said that she will never work for someone who has no computer science degree. This one person said that she will never get the pay of a self-taught developer, that she was better than people who have no degrees, which is insane. And why is this insane? Because the second most important thing I learned at my company is the importance of teamwork. Why is it so important? When I was working until 10 p.m. on Tuesday, when I came to work at 9.30 the following day, and when I came to work even on Thursday, everyone throughout the entire team was extremely stressed out. Like everyone was focused on the thing. Everyone was trying to make sure that what their part in this project was, whatever that project, whatever the part was within this project, their goal was to make sure to get this done in time. But at the same time, while we're trying to get these projects done, what's happening, changes are happening last minute. We're finding bugs last minute. All these different things are happening. But within these tight deadlines, and when everyone is just trying to get things done and work together, one of the main things that can slow down, even getting a project done, is honestly the teamwork. It is no communication. It is no, if you don't even have a relationship with anyone, if you don't really talk to them or say hi to them. These small things, believe it or not, can really disrupt 
how the company is working, the culture of the company. But I guess you could say part B of this second point is that within teamwork, what happens there is that you're able to have a strong culture. And that's one thing I'm learning so much because a culture more than anything is what allows a company to re honestly, I think, grow. Because when you have a strong culture at a company, what happens is that people enjoy coming to work. Like for me, I love coming to work. Like it's not, it doesn't feel like a job. It doesn't feel like I have to do it. I do it because I honestly absolutely love it. But imagine working for a company where the culture sucks, where you always feel like you're about to lose your job. You don't know if you're gonna have it. When you feel like no one cares about you, you don't wanna go to work. So what I'm learning is so important is the fact that how can you contribute to their team more than even just code and wow, I'm turning really red, what is going on? <laughs> so the third thing I learned at my second developer job, I, I honestly thought that what I knew at my first job would at least be enough to help me handle this, which is true. Uh, I think I'm doing okay right now and there's so much more I can improve on. But one thing that I'm noticing, oh my gosh, what's with my hair? What the heck? Let's fix that. Let's get that. It's not working. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. All right, go up there. Yes. <laughs> when I first came to the company, I still felt like I knew nothing. Six months later at the company, yes, I know more, but I still feel imposter syndrome. It will, I honestly feel like imposter syndrome will never go away. Why? Languages are always evolving, right? But even more than that, like even when I learn something, I'll forget it. Like that feeling, that feeling of how much JavaScript you should know or how much HTML CSS you should know or how, why this API, why am I not able to figure out this thing with this API or when we're using a specific website, why am I not able to send an email? These all simple things and then the simple things that I could have thought of to solve those problems, I wasn't able to do. And one thing that I've come to realize is that you will honestly never know enough as a developer. You will never, but the moment you feel that you do, that is dangerous. And I think this feeling that I feel, imposter syndrome, is honestly a good feeling because it's through imposter syndrome. When you feel like you don't know enough, what should I do? Push you to keep doing more. Push you to keep learning. Because the moment you settle, the moment you feel like you're okay, that's not good. So. I guess I'm gonna feel this for the rest of my career. <laughs> so when I'm thinking about this, right, there are many things that I can talk about. There are many things I can share with you. Honestly, there's so many things I can share with you, but to keep this video as short as I possibly can, the last thing I wanna share that I'm going through while working at my second developer company, yes, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning so much about the web I didn't know, but even though I'm working for a world-renowned company, right, that everyone knows, I cannot get comfortable. And I feel that with myself sometimes, that I get too comfortable, and I don't like that. For me, myself, I don't wanna ever get too comfortable in anything I'm doing. Because when you get too comfortable, I feel that that's when you make the most mistakes. But one thing that I'm still doing, that I've still done in my last company is this. I am still pushing myself to learn code outside. Yes, I work with JavaScript at work, but one thing that I still need to be able to do to improve is I cannot depend just on my company to help me grow as a developer. I still need to be able to push myself more outside. Yeah, man, I just love it. I'm so happy. I still love to code. Waking up in the morning is easy. Going to the office is easy. I still love code. It helps that I work for a great company. I have great management that I'm under. This is my love. Someone asked me on YouTube and on Discord the other day, and they asked me, Chris, like, if you can go YouTube full time, would you do it? Or let's say if you won the lottery, would you quit coding? And I did not hesitate and I told them no. Uh, this is my life, I love doing this. I wanna do this for, and for my entire career. Uh, this is something that I enjoy doing and I don't plan on stopping for a very long time. That I'm very thankful to be able to go through. But anyways, man, um, these are the things that I've gone through at my second developer job. If you guys like the video, please go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet, but if not, and if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Krishan. This is the Life of a Developer, and I'm out. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh shoot. <laughs> I just realized there's nowhere for me to go. I'm gonna go this way. Even if I go this way, it's just my couch. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, this is actually my new lamp. Now, <laughs> that's not my lamp. This is the light that I bought to help me actually my videos. Check this out, if you guys wanna see the big difference. You know what, I know it's a really weird way to end the video, but check this out. Boom, look how dark this is, man. Like if I just wanna use the camera system to make my lighting better, look how weird this looks. That looks totally weird. Nope, that's not gonna happen for YouTube. No way, man. So I got this light. 
Boom, looks way better, right? What am I doing? What kind of ending is this? I feel like I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling. I don't know. Ah, boom, book, boom, book, boom, book, boom, book. Okay, you guys probably want me to stop talking now, huh? Okay, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Oh, bye.